In this video, I will show you how we use the intermarket analysis and correlation to always have an edge over the market we're trading. So while I roll the intro and disclaimer, hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, do subscribe because I do always upload at least one video a week to help you out in your trading career. See you there. Welcome back guys, this is Pierre here from PAFX. Well, as I said in the intro of this video, we're going to be talking today about the intermarket correlation and analysis and how to use that to have an edge over the market you're trading. So let me show you a, a short video from my weekly overview last Sunday where I was talking about gold and what to look for for this upcoming week and how it went so far to then explain to you how we could use that correlation and intermarket analysis to take that trade gold we're still trading in the same uh, range here as you see if we go to the weekly we see that it was um, a bullish week with some rejection from the upside here go to the daily we see a rejection keep coming from the upside at this important level here this neckline that got broken and um, yeah friday was a very strong rejection back to the downside inside this uh, box on the four hour but the price is now trading in the upper uh, in the upper side of this bigger box as you see in this smaller box here and uh, we do have bearish divergence on the rsi and since the price keep pushing back inside the box there is a possibility that we test the bottom of the box uh, next week if the dollar uh, continue uh, to the upside and if the stock market start uh, making some correction also to the upside because gold is being used once again now as a possible safe haven asset uh, before the bottom here we do have the mid range here uh, uh, where we had the last week piv uh, pivot point could act as possible support as well you need to keep an eye on that so during that uh, overview you heard me talking about those if dollar done this if the stock market done that and you may be sometime wonder why i am mentioning those things when i'm trading gold we're gonna take a look at that and how this could help us uh, to take such a trade so if we go down, uh, you saw the uh, video and we were talking about this major level on the daily uh, was the area where we uh, expected the gold to maybe give us some reversal. That is, that was our technical part, yeah? Because we are mostly technical traders and we want to look at those good technical levels to take some decisions at. Now, technical alone is not uh, the best way fundamental alone is not the best way in my opinion so one should have at least both uh, and good uh, understanding of, of both technical and fundamental to be able to have a great edge over the market now the technical side of this trade would be that we had gold here at this major um, level of resistance we had already this stop loss hunt happening we were looking at the one hour time frame and we saw uh, we saw this uh, fake breakout and the week ended um, at this particular time so here we have a new week from uh, this part of the chart let me uh, mark that much better so this we had this new week that we um, after the uh, we mentioned the weekly overview so he started the new week and i was talking about this minor range and what happened was on the one hour our first break below previous minor structure here we broke that level done this we did a retest and we did another break yeah so already here we have um these breaks happening and if we want to be more sure let's take a look at what was the dixie doing at that period of time yeah so here is the same uh period of time on the dollar so here we started 
a new week on the dollar at the same time as uh, the new week here started on gold so when gold start breaking below the dollar was making higher highs and higher lows also following uh, this trend line we have here on the one hour yeah you see this trend line clearly here if I go out a little bit so we see this uh, trend line going on here uh, on the dollar and we start making higher lows I mentioned also the uh, stock market so if we look at uh, we take a look at the S&P 500 when we had this fake out on on the gold the S&P was also making this uh, break below support at the same time when gold went back inside the box here the S&P 500 went back inside the box as well now all that was happening uh, what had happened already before we did the weekly overview now this is a new week from the blue line and as you see here as well when gold start breaking to the downside the S&P also did break above previous structure to then find some resistance and push lower to the downside yeah pushed lower all the way to give this strong rejection from a major support level so at the same time when gold was at a major support level the S&P 500 did also reach a major support level here yeah so this is telling us if the bulls to enter here and start pushing this to the upside gold may also start moving in the opposite because gold being used right now especially lately as a safe haven asset uh, it wasn't that for a long period of time but since uh, the stock market start dropping we start seeing gold pushing higher and being used as a safe haven asset and that's why I was mentioning to keep an eye on the stock market also and the dollar to be able to predict if the gold will keep moving lower or not. So on the four hour time frame, we had this retest down here to this um, major support. And after that, we start pushing higher on the one hour. We see it clearly now a break above and here we are, here we are today yeah so this whole move to the upside during that period of time the gold was pushing lower so this could also add more confidence to your uh, trading decisions by seeing that the s p 500 did reach a major support level uh, we had uh, the Dixie was already bullish and was um, at this uh, testing this uh, uh, trend line um, at the bottom here tested the trend line at the same time when gold was breaking below so if we go down back to the one hour on the Dixie we see it clearly break retest of the trend line and continuation so all this together looking at the stocks looking at the dollar and having already had this uh, dive uh, sorry this uh, fake out on gold could already help you now I will give you another reason to why we should be uh, shorting gold and that also I mentioned in the weekly overview that during this triple top on the four hour at this major level we had already bearish divergence going on on the rsi i will also make a tutorial about that uh, the divergence and how you could use that uh, also to have an edge over the market but that will be in another video so we had another reason which was the bearish divergence and the most important thing is the structure so since we broke below this uh, now we do not need this so let's take this off since we broke below the previous low on the one hour with this move to the downside it was already a signal that gold may reverse i did also mention uh, this weekly uh, pivot support level as a trouble area and it was a trouble area at short term as you see 
the market did reach that support level and gave, gave you a correction from that area. But this should not scare you out because you saw that Dixie was moving higher and the stocks was also um, moving higher, making uh, some kind of correction or possibly reversal, let's see this week. So this should not uh, scare you out since the previous structure high was still not broken. So you should see this as an opportunity to take uh, another short or if you were not short already, this would be your level to try to look for bearish evidence to for a continuation and as you see the prediction that we may touch the bottom of the box um, did happen nicely and now today we have gold sitting at this support going sideways right now we start having bullish divergence so we may have a, another uh, push to the upside possible correction and maybe another move lower uh, let's keep following that and see but the main reason for this video was to uh, show you guys uh, another way to look at the market uh, and that is the intermarket analysis and correlation. That is um, a very important thing. That's why uh, during my trading course, I have a whole session about the intermarket analysis and correlation. and. Um, uh, lots and lots of the students uh, have their uh, big uh, aha moment when we do that session. So it is pretty important. You should always uh, try to learn more about that and uh, and understand how all the market are uh, intercorrelated. It is a very big topic, so uh, it would be uh, very hard to make a short video with all the information needed. But of course, for those of you who are still struggling in trading, what you could do is um, even join our trading course or join our uh, trading and chat room to be uh, with us every day and see how we trade. We talk a lot about this stuff as well. Right now we do have a great offer, 14 days trial for only $1. So that would be a great opportunity for you to um, join our trading room and see how we work. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, please do hit that like button. If you like these videos, please leave a comment as well. That will help the video uh, rating and uh, it will help the video to be um, shown to more people that need uh, to see this kind of um, videos. So uh, thanks a lot. See you next time. I love